Welcome back to the Moth Whisperer. In today's episode, we have very exciting news. Do you remember the project we had a couple of weeks ago where we raised small blue caterpillars? Yeah, well, so as many of you probably know, these caterpillars pupated, and the day we've all been waiting for it has finally arrived. These caterpillars hatched not so long ago, and we have one right here that just hatched. These are both Manduga Sectum moths. This one right here is a female and this is a male. And it's kind of hard to tell them apart, but I usually go just based on their abdomen size. Um, you can kind of tell that this is female just based on its plumpy body compared to the male slim body right here. And um, you notice that these moths are very, very well camouf camouflaged to the bark. And this, they use this tactic just to stay hidden during the day. And then when nighttime comes around, they become highly active. We'll just take a, oops, let's just take a better look at this one. Yeah, hopefully we'll catch these flying during the night and pollinating. So just stay tuned for that. And then they pollinate flowers with um, a, like a straw-like thing you see right here. It's called a proboscis. And, and they use this proboscis to reach into deep flowers such as the <clears throat> petunia look more or less like this they can come in other color forms i have a purple one that's striped but my hawk moths tend to like this one better just because it's their preferred food um and they use their proboscis i'll try to get a video later but they use it to just reach down all the way down to the center of this flower right here and suck the nectar that's that's located down here and then um let's sit here then, oops all right uh, and then we got the male here this one i don't really like touching because it's kind of floppy if that makes sense i'll show you later but it has beautiful yellow vivid colors right there coming up and um compared to the female i would say there is slight different difference just color wise but th that's not always the case it's kind of hard to see right now just with the naked eye but um yeah <clears throat> you're probably wondering why these moths aren't really flying from my hand most butterflies will do that that's mostly because they're quite docile animals even during the night i'm pretty sure you'll be able to pick up a moth but they're uh, night active so they won't really be flying you won't really see moths flying during the day and that's just because they're night active so I'm going to try to catch these guys flying and pollinating tonight just stay tuned for that guys all right guys it's soon about to be nighttime i think it's i believe it's around nine o'clock right now and we're live right now looking at the moth feeding from the petunia as we're speaking it's getting a little disoriented because of the light that i'm shining at it right now but that will go it's beautiful right this is the female moth i believe all right here we have it egg laying guys this is the female that i showed you previously in the video um and it, it does get a slightly disoriented because of the light that I'm flashing at it right now, but yeah, it's the best that I can do right now. So, Ooh, you can see the proboscis, the straw like thing. This is hummingbird mimicry. It looks like a hummingbird, and that's because they mimic hummingbirds. And it's beautiful, really, it's really beautiful. Right down here, drinking nectar and pollinating at the same time, multitasking. That's crazy, right? Here is another clip um, of the same moth earlier from earlier feeding on another plant called Lantana, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't really seen it feed so much from this plant. All right, guys, before we leave, <clears throat> I just want to take a look at this male real quick. He didn't really fly too much. I mean, I saw him earlier, but that's pretty much it. Um, see a little spot down here. Got the female. Why are you running? Right here. Oh, what's up? All right, all right. You you keep on minding your business. I'm gonna be here. All right. Yes. And that marks the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching until the very end. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share this video to your friend of yours.